Let us look at another example of partnerships. Anu, Sid and Sheena together start a business with the investment of Rs. 1800, Rs. 1500 and Rs. 1600 respectively. If at the end of the year Sid gains a profit of Rs. 900, what is the total profit in the business? So let's say this is the business entity and Anu, Sid and Sheena have invested money in this business. Now Anu has invested Rs. 1800, Sid has invested Rs. 1500 and Sheena has invested Rs. 1600. Now from this business at the end of the year and here we are given that all the three have invested the money for the entire duration of one year. So at the end of one year there is some amount of profit and this profit now has to be shared between the three people who have invested their money in this business. So the share for each of these investors has to be in the proportion of their investments. Now we have been given that Sid's share of profit is rupees 900. We don't know what Anu has, we don't know what Sheena has. And now with this information we have to find out what is this profit. So as I mentioned the share of profit will be in the proportion of their investments. And since the time period for their investments is the same, we will take the share of the money that has been invested in the business by these three investors. So the ratio of investment by Anu, Sid and Sheena is 1800 is to 1500 is to 1600. Now from this ratio we can take out the common multiples. So we can remove these two zeros. So the ratio now becomes 18 is to 15 is to 16. And this is for Anu, Sid and Sheena. So what this means is that if we add these three numbers up, so 18 plus 16 is 34 plus 15 is 49. So if we made 49 equal parts of this total profit, then out of those 49 equal parts, 18 parts go to Anu. 15 parts go to Sid and 16 parts go to Sheena. Now the 15 parts is equal to 900 rupees. So what this means is, so let's say P is the profit. Now we have to divide this P into 49 equal parts. So this divided by 49 and we have to take 15 such parts so multiply by 15 and this is equal to 900 so p is equal to now 49 we'll take on the other side so since this is in the denominator and is division it will go in the numerator with multiplication so 900 multiplied by 49 and 15 is in the numerator so it will go in the denominator and since it is multiplied by so it will go as divided by, divided by 15. Now 15 ones are 15 and 15 six are 90 and one zero. 
6 9s are 54 5 carry over 6 4s are 24 plus 5 29 and 1 0 so the total profit is 2940 rupees